It's been about three days. Maybe today's maybe today's the fourth day since I harvested a bunch of these greens from our radishes, which they make these awesome little florets just like broccoli. A lot more tender, honestly. Really flavorful. Very excellent. As well as these leaves have been very tasty also. Kind of like mustard greens, essentially. Harvested quite a few of those, and now we have flowers. I'm sure the bees, bees are going to be happy about that. And we also harvested a lot of this Swiss chard. And in just a few days, it's uh, really bounced back quite a bit, some of them. This one coming in, you know, but that, this one, wow. Maybe I forgot to harvest that one. I don't know. But even these coming back strong. Lots of Swiss chard. A few uh, leaves and weeds growing here and there, but that's to be expected. You know, we got our sunflowers looking a little wilty, but these ones over here look a lot better. So that's nice to see. The peas have begun to attach themselves to our little trellis and I'll surely improve that here and soon, but I'm not quite seeing any flowers yet, although there might be a few in there. Hard to tell, but we will see soon. Oh, and look, we have a strawberry that was eaten halfway by a slug. So we're gonna get that out of here so it doesn't attract anymore. And we got another little guy coming in, looking kind of silly, so honestly, take it out of there and just let the plant grow gather strength you know we have more strawberries up front doing pretty well despite being neglected a little bit our herbs doing pretty nice I actually harvested some of these and it looks like we have a bird um, fertilizing for us a little bit while it probably was perching up here so that's nice free fertilizer on our lemon thyme yeah some looking strawberries over here setting some fruit in there looking good more sunflowers. Uh, our grape is looking just fine back there. Doing its thing. And we have a younger generation of Swiss chard coming up here. Which is going to be delightful. Unless that's spinach or something. I'm a little confused. Pretty sure it's chard. Oh no. Chard? Well, I guess I'm thinning that one. Mm. Yep, looking decent. I threw a little bit of water from a jug I brought out here on the shallots. They're just chilling. We got a few carrots hanging out. See how they do. A few more up here. They might handle it pretty well. All in all, looking pretty good. Oh, wow. Look at that. That vine's doing nice. Soon, we're going to have a video about what we're going to do about trellising these grapes. And that'll be fun. But, uh, keep it pretty rudimentary for now. Because I got a lot to do. I'm, I'm behind, honestly, on most things. I'm liking this artichoke. This is the purple artichoke. Probably not going to really get anything from it until next year, but they're getting themselves. Oh, this is the purple artichoke. Violetto doing real well and uh, this is the green globe bad boy also doing well so all in all pretty good from this bed I, I like this bed I like this keyhole idea it's in a good location and uh, I got started on it early enough to get reasonable results so I'm happy to see that and uh, it was really easy I just got the rhizomaceous grass out of the way and honestly this grass fertilizes the soil pretty dang well on its own just by providing a lot of, uh, you know, uh, organic matter into the soil over time. But I also did some top dressing of some, uh, you know, uh, blood meal, bone meal, etc. The basics. Nothing crazy going on here. But, uh... Some of these potted plants are probably prospering reasonably because they uh, had some kind of fertilizer in the soil I planted them with. But over time, we'll be adding mulch and uh, just.
just accumulating even more organic matter in the soil, which in our other bed seems to be helping keep the uh, rhizomaceous grass under control pretty well. So I'm looking forward to the future of this bed. It looks like it's going to be a pretty handy one. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Saw something interesting. I'll catch you later.